might have either downloaded like a mouthpiece album or it might have been it might have been seven of us <laughs> joint like I didn't come in having prior you know uh, having been exposed to Christian hip-hop like that prior um, it might have been rap terrorists you know what I'm saying um, I'm not I'm, I don't really remember though I got you. I'll say between that and, and mouthpiece. I heard mouthpiece. I was like, he's dope. So I think I checked out his album. Triply, um, I'm not a robot. I think that one. That was my first one. I had a guy in chemistry class when I was 15, I think, bootlegged me. Seven, all or none. Ambassador Christology and Urban D unorthodox. Cross movement, um, House of Reps. My, my dude gave it to me on this white tape and uh, it was blank, so I guess he, you know, uh, well, he, can, he couldn't burn things back then, but I guess he, uh, whatever, copied it and he just gave it to me and said, check this out. And I put it in and I heard, ain't no stopping this because what become coming out of esophagus, you know, and I was, I was sold. Um, it was either Fanatics, The Incredible Walk, or The Truths, The Faith. Those are my first two ever Christian hip hop albums that I ever in life listen to. We that had we had that thing for rotation for like months, dog, in London. Bootleg. Like bootleg version. We don't even know I don't even know how we got it. All I know is that my friend Prince like had a master. I remember so like we had a master. He's like cramp into it like sardines. And we would just like ride around do shows in different churches and stuff. And we just listen to those two albums back to back to back. My introduction to Christian hip hop was Flame's first album. Uh, I had just got <laughs> saved, and I was in the, I was in the mall uh, with my sister, and she knew I was like a big hip hop fan, and uh, she gave me Flame's. She bought me Flame's album for Christmas. And I was like, man. Well, my first introduction was um, uh, Gospel Gangsters, and I, I thought it was I didn't like it. Uh, so when she gave it to me, I was like, man, this is. Okay, I'll listen to it. I think like a week later, I listened to it, and I was like, this dude, it's tight. Then I started listening to the theology he was spitting. I was, I was captivated, man. So that was, my, that was my first real introduction to Christian hip hop. Flame's first um, title, City of Flame. Christology in Lamest Terms by the Ambassador. Listen, I've, I was new to Christian hip hop, and I, I was an anti Christian hip hop until I started to hear Cross Movement, and I got their stuff for free. And so the next thing that I bought was a Tadashi album. And I, I can't remember what it was, but it wasn't his oldest project. Um, I, I liked Tadashi because it was just different. And during that time, Bone Crusher was hot. Da -da, da -da, I never scared. Like he reminded me of Bone Crusher. I was like, I gotta get this dude. So I got him and then I, I really was liking what uh, Trip Lee was doing. I started, I heard KB, crazy. Lecrae, of course, he's kind of like the staple. You hear Lecrae and you hear everybody else. So then I started, you know, then Rebel and all the other things started coming into play. And I was just like, okay, Christian hip hop is not corny. This is, this is cool. This is cool.